over a century. The hotel has been his life. But next summer, if anyone needs a vacation, it's Drac. A cruise? Ooh. Surprise! Oh, no, 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 no. Dad! <laughs> Okay, smile. Check it out, Dad. There's so much to do. Olympic size swimming pool. I got this. All you can eat for veins. Full service spa. Yeah, so impressive. It's like a hotel on the water. Who is that? Okay, Dad, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, Blobby's gonna puke. <laughs> I'm a grown woman. I have the right to kill whoever I want. Then, uh, that's our opening. A special edition, horror during the daytime is what I like to call this, even though it's a children's film. Tedious, tiresome, and incredibly lazy. What are your thoughts on Hotel Transylvania 3? Oh. Vacation trip or something. Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think it was better than the second one. I mean, I'll give it that. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I'd say it's on the same par, same par probably. Just yeah, it's incredibly boring. It's tough. Yeah. Um, the first one I rewatched that last night. God, the everything was bad except the animation. Even in this one, the animation was pretty good, right? I actually, that's one of the things that I would say is that I I felt like this was worse, worse. looking than the first yeah. movie for some reason. Like I said, I've only seen the first and second movie once when they came out on um, DVD. But, maybe, uh, maybe not. I can't say for sure. I thought yeah. it looked fine. They're not very high budget movies, like for animation. They're only like eighty five million. Yeah. Which compared to like Pixar, it spends like you know fucking two hundred fifty million dollars. Like five years. Yeah. The first one, at least, it had like slapsticky jokes in the background. Yeah, or and sort of goofy stuff like that. This had it, but for some reason, it just didn't really. And it didn't beat. You didn't over really that. land I for me. I didn't feel like the first movie kind of beat you over the head with a message. You know, it was kind of. It was kind of just a fun little, you know. Yeah, there was a message. Yeah, there was a message, but I don't. Uh, this they didn't one beat, beat you over the head. Yeah, with this it. one beats. This you one, over nothing the head really with it. happened throughout the movie. They just were set out on this vacation. <laughs> it's a cruise, a and then they have a okay. stop every ten minutes or so, and then dance for five minutes. Yeah, I'll say is that uh, this gave me, this gave me some uh, real hard flashbacks to Peter Rabbit with the music montages. There was many. Get, um, yeah. so you know the one shocking thing? Both the first two movies end with a musical number. This one doesn't. Yeah. Well, there's there's a nice little credit sequence with the music, but uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. a Shrek style <laughs> musical number. Yeah, we, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't need another musical. Yeah, I was number. ready to get out of there. Let's <laughs> say I was ready for it to be over. Yeah. Um, yeah. This was uh, this was bad. You know, I um, like I said I really didn't like the second one, but I kind of had hopes for this one. I and was pretty sure better. going in, from seeing the first one last night and remembering the second one, not be, being sort of the same thing, just sort of a cash yeah. grab, you know? The same yeah, thing, the, but with not a lot of energy put into it. Yeah, the sequels, this one included, definitely feel like a cash grab. It's just, the first one was, like, nice if you're a fan of the, you know, original Universal horror movies and stuff. Speaking and, of which, I just rewatched the 1932 yeah. The Mummy. Not worth it. Look up the picture of Bela Lugosi in makeup and then look up the song The Mummy from the soundtrack. Only two things worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just um yeah, and and even all the voice acting in the movie was just like really cringy for me. Even... They changed Chris Parnell. He was the fly before. They just erased his character and he became the fish waiter, fish butler. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of like the fish. 
They're okay. <laughs> it was amusing to me, I will say. Yeah. But uh, the best thing about the movie for me was was Bob, a.k.a. Tangles. The only real if, thing if, to look for, but it was like the Triceratops at Jurassic World. It's just the cute thing that's there. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I felt like they could have done more with Bob. Yeah. And they, they, they really disappoint you with some of the things with Bob. And Bob is basically the pet dog of the family. It's like a, a blue pug that's like, yeah. it's as big as Frankenstein, probably a little bigger. Yeah. And they basically just put a little trench coat on him and a hat and nobody McGruff knows. McGruff the crime dog. <laughs> right. And nobody recognizes him. Because he loses the hat at the end and then Maeve's like, oh, what's Tinkles doing here? <laughs> That was a nice little yeah. gag, I mean. Yeah, it was a nice reoccurring gag through the movie. I like the Spanish dance that they had in the <laughs> yes. chamber. That was nice. Yes, it was that, a nice little sequence. That that was the probably the other highlight, which was I well choreographed and uh you know, this this was definitely a paycheck for the director. I don't think he even wanted to do a second one. Yeah. Uh this is they just Well he's one of those creative types, isn't he always on the sidelines trying to make his next trying to yeah, finance I mean, his he, next project or yeah, something? Yeah, he, he made Samurai Jack, which is awesome and, and never you, seen it. Yeah, Samurai, I mean aside from like an episode or two yes, in my youth. Samurai Jack's awesome and you know, he did Powder Puff Girls and I think Dexter's Lab as well. Um I know. always love Dexter's Lab. Yeah, that's real, you know, soft spot from when Man I was younger. Dark. Do you remember Man Dark? That was the name of his rival. Oh, yeah. He was that voice who was the nerdy, annoying voice from the 80s on. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Were you uh, more of a Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? Well, the thing is, Cartoon Network didn't come until I was like 8 or 9 or 10 or 11. Mm. But eventually, yeah, I transitioned to Cartoon I Network because like... Nickelodeon started to decline quickly. Yeah. The original Rugrats was good. The original Doug was good. Then they tried updating it, and it was fucking just... These aren't the characters I know. This yeah. isn't... This is shitty. Yeah, a lot of that stuff that I liked on Nickelodeon when I was younger, it, it does not... Are You Afraid so. of the Dark? Fucking awful. I watched a couple yeah. episodes on YouTube a couple years ago. Fucking dreadful. Uh, Goosebumps is at least, at know, least funny. You can enjoy it. You can have some fun with it. Because it's so shitty. Yeah. I've tried rewatching that on Netflix. Yee. I, I, did. I got oh through like, the first season of it. Yeah. I try. I, I I've I want to finish it up. Yeah. But uh, yeah, back to most. Back to most of my movie. notes. Actually, you want to know what like forty percent of my notes, notes were? Now. What's happening? Why is this happening? What's going on? <laughs> That's essentially all my notes. Yeah. Also, arm cousins. It was a reference to. I don't know if it was a reference or they just said it again, but in the first one, that was the joke that yeah, you were really him and Johnny that. Stein were arm cousins. Or, no, just because it looked super funny with her dancing around with a gigantic yeah. arm. I'm like, well, who made this decision? Yeah, there was, there was, it was weird because we, I don't think we really ever laughed at the same time. There was just, it was very weird, different gags in the movie, and it's just, it's, it's just a bizarre movie. It's, a lot of cringy moments. If I hear the phrase yeah. zits, what is it? <laughs> zing, zing. Zing. One more time. In the first one, I believe yeah. they say it two or three times. This one, every scene is peppered with it two or three yeah. times. The theme of this movie, monsters fucking humans. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro strikes again. Yeah, as I was watching this, I was like, oh boy, this is going to give him flashbacks to Shape of Water. But yeah, yeah, the main plot is really simple. It's just, you know, Dracula, he's he's alone. He wants to meet somebody again. and Also, runs. the daughter wants them to spend more time together and not work. Yeah, and uh, so they go on the... Uh, Did you, you call know, as soon as and... you see the woman what was going to happen? What her whole deal was? Uh, it, had, it had been spoiled for me in the trailer. Okay. What is the deal with kids... The third sequel, the third edition of a kid's movie... Where they open it with the surprise villain who's going to show up later, or is like relative. Do you remember Despicable Me Three? I've never seen any of those. Trey Parker movies. was in it. Um, he was like a child star in the seventies or eighties or something. He grew up and became a super villain because everyone thought he wasn't cute anymore. Uh -huh. He has this exciting set piece in the beginning, much like our Van Helsing did, and then he disappears. Gee, I wonder what happened to that guy. Uh -huh. I wonder if he's going to show up again. I wonder why we saw him at the beginning. Right. Van Helsing looked really, really, really bad in old it, times. What was the deal with his... Why did he look so bad? Yeah. When they were in 1897. Yeah. Yeah, it was... The strange thing about him was Why like, did it look so weird? 
Yeah, his uh, his legs are like these little string beans, and his arms, and then he's just got this huge, gigantic torso. That but was really it. Was weird. his head more than anything for me? His hair was like this. It was a U shape, and it yeah. was like this gigantic, weird head. Like everybody in the universe, aside from Frankenstein, I'd say. Never mind. We're dealing with monsters. Nobody has a yeah. normal shape. Yeah, head. everyone's trying. It's it's all trying to. Be what weird. was with the? Uh, What's her name? Erica's face. Why the fuck did she look all fucked up? She had like this weird like chin, chin? protruding thing. Yeah. yeah, that was so strange. She looked like a pear with a chin and nose, man. Yeah, the animation wasn't very good. It was really awkward. Sometimes there were some nice moments. Like uh, on the boat, there was sort of this weird twilight aurora borealis thing going on in the sky. I kind of thought that was neat. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean... It's, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's so generic. That's the biggest thing. It's just, there's no vision to it. Bernie Dracula. Um, why? Who is Bernie Dracula? He mentioned briefly something about his uncle Bernie and his dad. I'm like, there's a Bernie Dracula? Yeah. You couldn't get more creative with a name than Bernie? Yeah, it's, it's, and just the fart jokes. It's like, you know. If you see Van Helsing, I will slay him. I, I fucked it up. It was from forgetting Sarah Marshall. I thought the I thought the Frankenstein was Ke- was not Kevin James, but was what's his it's name? Kevin James. It was Kevin James, but I thought it was um Seth Rogen for a while. Yeah, Seth Rogen's not doing this movie. Yeah, evidently he's he's, uh, he's, he's not he's, a part of the Sandler crew. Let's no, say, no, which is why I thought it was movies. odd. I thought it was him. Please. I was confused with Sausage Party. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I wish this was. I'd rather would have seen that than this, honestly. And I thought that was fucking boring, kind of. Yeah. Um, I mean, I will say that when you see the grandfather again, you know, spoiler alert, who gives a shit? See, it's um, not really that we play any fucking position in the it, plot. He's just it, there. It reminded me so much of Wild Wild West, of fucking Kenneth Branagh in that fucking wheelchair. Oh, yeah. I, I did. Like I got the whole that time feeling I was too. Watching it, yeah. I was like, "Wow, this is like Wild Wild West." It reminded me of something else, but now it came out from Sony. I think I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I, I had the VHS from when I was a child. Awful movie. The only funny part is when they're um. I used to watch that movie all the time. When Kenneth Branagh, yeah, me too, because it's just so it's cheesy. Fun the theater too. The um, best part is when Kenneth Branagh is exchanging racial slurs with Will Smith at the <laughs> yeah. party. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I remember that. It's such a such a fucking bizarre movie. There's a lot of strange choices, let's say. Um, yeah, and, the, and because Sony owns the Gremlins, the Gremlins show up. Yeah. They run a, why they run the, a plane. The, why did the Chubacabra just show up, too? Yeah. yeah, I was... Yeah, I laughed at that. I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> they just take... He's like, oh, I'm quite parched. And then he just takes a fucking goat. Well, I'm just like, who is glass. it? Who's it supposed to be? I'm, I'm just a good Chupacabra. Yeah, I'm thinking Chupacabra, but I'm like... Yeah, we don't know what one looks like. There's no like design. Like there, there is no Dracula. Apparently, you know what I mean. Seen the Chupacabra movie on the Sci-Fi Channel. God no, <laughs> God no. <laughs> but uh, that just felt awkward to me. I'm like, what is? Yeah, you, who is this? It's it's throwing shit at the wall, man. Yeah. Like it really is. It's throwing shit at the wall. And honestly, like it didn't feel like any of the kids in our theater were laughing. Like what it, it was kept pretty crying for some reason. Yeah. And once again, we've fallen into the tradition of having at least one mentally impaired person in the theater with us. The theater was almost empty, though. It was empty when I came in. I was like, oh, sweet. What time did you get there? Never mind. Save that for afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I got in there early, and, and then they sat in the handicapped seats right in front of me. I was like, oh, she was, no. I mean, I'm fine with her laughing. It's stupid. I'm, if, even if yeah. it was just kids laughing it's exuberantly. No but... but. Every she 10 so seconds. Loud. Yeah, and she was super loud. But we moved. Yeah, well, she moved and it wasn't care. a big deal. Not that big of a deal, yeah. You could hear her squeals randomly, but it was, Six it was loud back. enough. <laughs> yeah, we didn't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, the theater was really loud, man. You're I coming to the sequel, God. Granddad. Who played the Granddad again? Mel Brooks? No, the other Granddad. Uh, Kenneth Brown on one. <sighs> God, you said it. Catherine Hahn was his da- his granddaughter. Erica, right, yeah. Oh, the pale, pale comedian. Pale. Big, big baby. He did a special called that or something. Old baby. Jim Gaffigan. Oh, Jim Gaffigan. Is yeah, it yeah. old baby? No, that's that's some that's some other uh, female comic. I can't remember her name, but nonetheless. Yeah. 
Not yeah. too impressed by Jim Gaffigan's work. Yeah, I was... Not impressed by Catherine Son. I could recognize... I knew I knew who she was the entire time, but I couldn't... You know, I, I couldn't I, figure it out. I will say that, you know, Andy Sandberg, who plays... Uh, he did a good job. Do you think he did a bad job? Oh, Jesus Christ. The oh time when he's God. just out of nowhere, he's doing Eastern philosophy. What the uh, fuck yeah, is going I, on? I love weird shit. Uh, I'll, I'll it be was honest, so bizarre. I liked, like, why are you doing this? I liked him in the first one. I've never been a fan of Andy Sandberg. Ever. Yeah, me neither. I Didn't, fucking hated his work. Did you remember oh, that one where he's like a... Uh, terrible. What's that one where he's like, wants to be a stuntman? Hot Rod. That shit was fucking terrible. Unwatchable. But and, please. Yeah, I just... I didn't mind him in the first movie at all. What bothered you about him in this one? Just how weird he it just, was? He just fucking wore me on down. Just yeah. beating me down. I didn't... He wasn't in it that much. Though. No, he wasn't. That's and the good thing. it still fucking affected you oh, that much? Oh, it was horrible. Well. I thought he was honestly one of the oh. bright spots. Him and the dog were the only real things that oh, did it for I, I was, him. I was, and I knew the entire time the dog's just a cutesy thing that's yeah. not really doing anything. Just to sell some toys. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and the the last... The, the, the third act... DJ battle just oh my why the fuck that was one of my what the fuck is I don't know what's happening and I don't know why it's so weird to me that it's like we're being transported back to 2012 with the fucking DJ shit yeah yeah, just like well, also what is the Kraken isn't that when uh, one of the Clash of the Titans whatever one of those came out it's just it's it's like what are we doing here like, making it's, it's, stacking cash homie yeah it's it's just depressing why did why was there a DJ why did he just he like he's like I one, have right? the ultimate battle, the ultimate weapon against the monsters. That was just and then he pulls out a, a a a note like an old parchment. Uh, yeah, an and old, on it like, is music. Yeah, an old just music sheet. And then he just starts playing this techno shit. I didn't know the uh, <laughs> Greeks, Romans, and Atlanteans had access to uh, dubstep, but hey, well, what do was, I know? It was just the settings on his piano. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I know that, but it's like, you're going to go for it, at least yeah. go for it. Have like an old fucking accordion. Not accordion, but you know, <laughs> something something cool. Yeah, yeah, you know? If you played an accordion, that would have been interesting. When he was playing his old record, <laughs> I liked that song. Do you remember that? I can't, I, the only songs I remember was the Macarena, which I wanted to blow my fucking brains out when I started playing the Macarena. I was like, after that was, um, they had the, in the battle, don't worry, they be had... Happy. Um, Tears the first. They started one. playing something. Good then vibrations they the from one. the Beach Boys. Good vibrations was number one. Beach Boys. Then they play. Don't worry, be happy. I knew that was happening. I was. I knew they were going to play that for some reason. In the back of my song. head, I know it. it's just you know, it's just feel good song. Good I get song. it. Yeah. Happy song. But then for the third one, I'm like, what? Yeah, where can they go a now? Fucking mess. Like such a weird decision. And then they kept it. It kept going for a long, long Bob's time. Stop. At least solid two, three minutes. And then everybody started getting into it, like Macarena, and like it took me back to my elementary school when my gym teacher was making us Macarena. Yeah, they they made us Macarena during lunch. They literally had people on a stage, and we were all eating lunch in the cafeteria in elementary school. What a phenomenon! Why are why do you disturbing. people why do you people subject your children to idiotic <laughs> phenomena? Why are you making kids do the goddamn Macarena in school? At all. Why are you making them do Macarena anywhere? It's a cult. It's a cult. The cult of Zeitgeist. It's the cult of Macarena. Welcome to America, my friend. Uh, Either you're selling or you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Either you're making money or you're a fucking scumbag. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Yeah, Any other thoughts on uh, uh, I, I I don't really have much here. Then as soon as uh, I Just saw the fart lady, jokes I said Van Helsing vacation. Were awful. There were a lot of fart jokes. It's just like they're eating garlic and she thinks it's going to kill him. Because the girl... In the first one, garlic does kill... He said explicitly, if I eat garlic, it'll close up my throat and I'll die. Really? He eats it in this one. And the daughter eats it. They get bad gas. He just says I'm garlic intolerant. <laughs> they get bad gas. Yeah, I guess we just get into the... The, the, the message of the movie, which is you can love anyone for who they are, no matter what they even are. Even if they're trying to kill and you. And there's even this, like, really gay homage when they're on the, uh, uh, the, the, the ship. Yeah. They're, <laughs> the, she goes, we're here, like, we're hairy, we're scary, we're monsters, you know, instead of, like, you know, we're here, we're cool. Yeah. It's like, and it's just like, really? Like, this is what we're doing here. It's I didn't so really. Ca- I saw it in my note. I I didn't really 
combine the like, chimps like all right it's like you know you, you're not smart enough to to try to do some social message thing it's like seriously i mean yeah. i remember boat trip with kuba gooding jr doing it better than you i never saw it <laughs> That was a, that that was a socially cute toot, honey. That was a cute toot, honey. <laughs> after Mavis farts from eating garlic yeah. and guacamole. I think I would have uh, filed my divorce papers after that one. Will I am <laughs> is the um, only one who gets hits in the balls with any great frequency in this series. Will I am is this or was it CeeLo Green? I thought CeeLo Green Is played. it CeeLo? Pretty sure CeeLo plays the oh, mummy. Okay, CeeLo then. CeeLo was the mummy for sure. I knew it was a black singer with a raspy voice. Mm-hmm. Pardon me, guys. You're on Xbox, and I'm on Atari. Is that one of his songs? Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's the song. Even though most people know it as Forget You, because that was the radio version. But yes. It's fuck you. It's not a bad song, the Fuck You version. Oh, uh, do you remember that song? Oh, never mind. I was going to try to remember a song where they changed it over the radio, but I can't. I'm not going to be able to remember it. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, you really fucked that one up. One more thing. <laughs> Quick segue. <laughs> to and hide my shame <laughs> we there's something weird happened in this movie when we find out that Erica spoilers from here on out gang uh, if anybody cared we, we, major spoilers uh, from here major, on out oh, hmm. Erica is the great great granddaughter of Van Helsing he's been trying to kill Dracula for some time when we see her go into the secret I'm evil place, usually in movies somebody follows her so that it makes sense to the audience why uh-huh. we're seeing this or why we're hearing it. The camera just sort of followed her. Of cliches, yeah. Well, no, the cliche is to have someone follow her. So, like, that's it's like a, we're with them following her, finding follow. out what's happening. It's a yeah. triple follow. <laughs> Nobody was with her. We're just we're just following her by herself. It's a quadruple follow. Gee, I wonder if she's doing anything nefarious. <laughs> Um, yeah. That that was a good set on? piece. That that was a good set piece. Though. What I set mean, piece? When she goes into the Atlantis in her cave. Yeah, that was good. I mean, like them. not that, that one. Was when uh, on the boat when we first find out. She's oh, when there. she goes through the the door that swirls around and. And, and somehow her grandpa's man. alive over a hundred years later. <laughs> I replaced my failing patch with with technology. Well, well, I didn't realize I they could do that in the eight, 1930s. <laughs> I removed my liver. I removed two kidneys. <laughs> yeah, he, he was somewhat enjoyable. Somewhat. Eh, I thought it was kind of annoying. Eh. Didn't do it for me. Great. Um, you got anything else? Or you want your final ratings? Here? This is, this is, so there's not much to say. It's, it's shit, folks. This was a really shitty movie. Um... Are there any good kids movies you've seen lately you can compare this to? Uh, good, uh... I good. swear to God, yeah, this Paddington. Is... <laughs> you already said Paddington. I don't need to say Paddington, too. Watch Paddington. First one's on Netflix. <laughs> God damn it. Hoisted by my own guitar. <laughs> but, uh, um, I, there, there, I've definitely got some uh, animated picks for later, but okay. it's this has been a rough fucking year for animated movies, man. Like I was has there been any good ones? Not, not. I mean, some people liked Early Man. I didn't. I didn't like Early Man. Uh, our quest has been futile this year. We saw Peter Rabbit and what else? Um, this Incredibles. Incredibles. This. Uh, I saw Early Man. I saw Sergeant Stubby. Oh yeah, which was probably, probably the, awful. No, it was better than this significantly. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what other animated movies. The I've only good animation seen. animated in kids movies I've seen this year are ones that I've owned that I own. Yeah, it's uh, and I'm trying to think of any other animated movies that are even coming out this year. I think uh, we saw a preview for one. Um, the Grinch movie. I actually do want to see. It's got Benedict Cumberbatch as yeah, the Grinch. It, it looks fun. Oh, yeah, Sherlock Gnomes, I saw. That was fucking terrible. Sherlock Gnomes 2. Gnomes. Gnomeo and Juliet 2, Sherlock Gnomes. <laughs> it wasn't called Gnomeo and Juliet 2. Sherlock Gnomes. It was just called Sherlock Gnomes. Bastards. Hollywood, you're getting too fucking lazy with your name. Dia de fucking Sicario. <laughs> it's called Soldado. Oh, yeah. Dia de <laughs> Dia, Soldado. D- day of the Hitman, you wanted to call it? Yeah. Well, in a way, it kind of is, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Once again, my notes are peppered with what's happening and why is it happening. Yeah. 
I was I was wondering, I was like, man, you were fucking feverishly writing throughout this movie. I was like, oh man, was it? You really got one, some notes. The one biggest laugh for me was every so often the dog would just be in the background with his um no, hat and trench in the coat. Aquarium. <laughs> yeah, that too. But and just they when they it. first get on the deserted yeah. island, he's just standing in the background staring <laughs> at the camera. I like that. It was fun. And I liked when they say hi Bob. Hi Bob. Hi Bob. <laughs> Say hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> yeah, oh, I wish. Oh, God. And I, what and I could do you? Like what more could little, you do? I like that little werewolf girl. I think I think she's cute. I like the little. Yeah, girl. they was too much the same thing. I like you, little baby Dracula. <laughs> I'm too young to zing. But I like look, you, baby look, Dracula. Look at my eyes. I'm too young to zing. Fucking zing. <laughs> like. They fucking rolled with that fucking heart. I'm says just saying maybe like 700 times in this movie. Cinema Crazy. Sins, if you guys do this one, give <laughs> a single you. sin for every goddamn time somebody yeah. says zing. First off, fuck you, Cinema Sins. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I was a big fan of you guys in the past. I'm watching your videos recently. Not impressed. I usually I'm at least impressed. get one or two good jokes that I'm like, all <laughs> right, that was a solid joke. I like that. Jokes? Nothing like I really like, do you know how my affinity for cutting audio from another movie (laughs) and video from another? They do that at the end of all their videos, too. Usually there's one of those that gets me. It's incredibly, here's a trade secret for you guys. The person talking on the video, their lips don't have to say exactly what the audio is saying. Just, you know, make it look okay. Most times your brain is looking for the voice to say. It's a match. Yeah, it's a match. So it's not really that important for them to be that perfect video it's editors nice. out there some of those uh chinese movies will throw you for a loop well there's no dialogue and moms are still moving but yeah, yeah. that's why i go dubbed my friend I know, some of them uh some of them just dubbed your final rating oh, yeah uh oh, God. your judgment sir yeah, I, I I give it like a four. I give it a four out of ten. You know, it's just it's it's below Standard average. Standard kids movie, cash I was, grab. I was thinking of giving it a five, but it just man, every time and I I immediately was like, oh no, this is a four. When they had that, Andy Sandberg was talking about the mystical shit. You know, not you say that he I looked. Was like, this is so bad. Adam Dracula looked a lot better in the first one, and I was yeah. watching it on a That's really a... crappy stream. Oh, you were. Huh? Like, every 10 minutes, it'd have to stop and buffer for 10 really? minutes. Yeah, the, the animation to me, just from recalling, it looked way better. Quite a few times, I was like, yeah, you're right. Like, Dracula just looked off It looked, me. just, yeah, it didn't look right. They kept like showing... The edges of his There's face, a lot of times so where they... Like good, there was something weird. wrong with his face, I think, because they kept just oh. showing only his profile. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, and, and Adam Sandler, he, he didn't wear on me on the first one at all. Like, this he one... He wore on you in this he one? He did. He did. His I'm in love stuff got super annoying. Yeah. That was essentially his character. I mean, look, every one of the movies is he's hiding. It's like a sitcom. He's trying to hide stuff that you don't have to hide from his daughter or loved ones that's, or friends. That's the thing about this movie is it didn't even feel like a movie. It felt like just like a regular Saturday morning cartoon that was like 22 minutes. Yeah, like a sitcom? Yeah, well, I mean like a 22-minute, uh, you know, fucking cartoon, shitty cartoon. You know, Nothing had to make sense. Nothing had to... Eh. It didn't feel like the conclusion of a trilogy. I don't think but, it's going to no, be. No, it's not. It's, They're going to come back and pop up. That's yeah, what my la- one of my last note was. It's a classic. They should never should have made it. Guess anymore. who's coming for the sequel, Dad? Yeah. As he has his arm around Grandpa Van Helsing. Right. Yeah. So four from uh, Antonio Sabato Jr. <laughs> Rudy Land. Um, give it a four. Yeah. Um. The first one, it wasn't great. Like I was telling you before, like it's not a great movie. I'm the animation's good. The slapsticky stuff in the background, I like. But all the yeah. action, all the characters and stuff, they, they're not funny to me. Yeah. I'm frankly, I've been sick of Adam Sandler and his cohorts for some time. <laughs> I'm a fan of Grandma's Boy, huh? You know, when that came out, that was like supposed to be the great cult a cult hit. I saw it from Blockbuster. Really? It's pretty funny. I rewatched it not too long ago. Times. It's not it doesn't hold up. Didn't do it for me. Yeah, it was it was like three bucks on beep, Amazon. Beep. That gets annoying real fucking quick. Oh, he thinks he's a robot. That's funny. Let's do that the entire movie. And 
young Jonah. This Hill grandma over likes there. this grandma's super horny. Let's have her fuck Nick Swordson. That'll be a laugh, huh? Yeah, it might not hold up. I haven't seen it in a long but time. For this one, nothing. Just standard kids movie. Yeah. Peter Rabbit Part Two. Is uh you wanna maybe give some good picks of kids movies or yeah, sure. Um, my first, I realized hey, I current. I oh, oh. <laughs> uh, last few years. With, uh, the first Transylvania Hotel Transylvania movie. You recommend that one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd go with Shaun the Sheep. I uh, oh, I still haven't watched that. I love Shaun the Sheep. There's it's like no dialogue. It's just I like their work. They're the English guys who did uh, Flushed and Away and Ron yeah. Wallace and Gromit and stuff. Just, Usually their work is very good. I uh, it had like a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and I was like, ah, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Get out of here with this! And I watched it on Blu-ray, and I was like, this is incredible. Like this something of the English, oh. they really get kids' humor, where it also adults it's, can have fun with it as well. And they've done a show of Shaun the Sheep, which I didn't know for years. Which is I really that where it stemmed off of, or did the show well, come after? It's the a movie? spinoff from Wallace and Gromit. That sheep is okay. in Wallace and Gromit, and uh, it's just an absolute joy. Beautiful kids' movie, and it, it didn't. I guess they're going to do a sequel, which I'm glad. Um, it's it, it was absolutely fantastic. I really loved that Shaun the Sheep. Keeping with the um, English animated recommendations and the same production house, I believe. Let's go with Pirates. Band of Misfits? Pirates Band of Misfits. Thank you. I still haven't seen it. uh, My sister, she does one of those gay little libraries in her front yard. (laughs) I guess somebody donated to her. She's like, yeah, you can just have it. I watched it. It's, you know, it's not great, but it's definitely better than standard kids movie. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to see that one. I that's one of the only movies yeah, I've made I've haven't seen. It's the same yeah, it's the same plot as everything Play else. Picture. We have to do this, but this happens. Right. Yeah. So, thing. Um for my last pick I'd go with um uh, I, I'd go with Secret Life of Pets. I, I actually really liked it. Yeah? It's I yeah. Fucking, I just I did not like yeah, it. Yeah, it it really worked for me in a lot of ways. Who I know was the big brown dog? Ah, uh, Secret Life of Pets. I know that Louis C.K. was the he main was the dog. white dog. Yeah, the Kevin white guy. Uh, Hart was the bunny. Yeah, and uh, it's just a shameless rip off of Toy Story, but it's I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. I thought, I it, was thought it was tedious and annoying, but you know, yeah, I, I, it really worked. For it me. wasn't as bad as this for sure. Oh no, I I, I really liked it, but uh, Louis C.K. definitely won't be back for the sequel. So. Unfortunately, <laughs> they're making another one. Yeah, this it made like over eight hundred million dollars. Of course it did. <laughs> see, kids, so. if you don't give kids a choice, they're gonna have to see whatever crap you give them. Yeah, well, I don't I don't know if this one's gonna do too well. It, well, I was kind of surprised there were so few people in here. I thought it was gonna be packed, just because you know, kids movie. Yeah. Very disappointing. Do you know what was the name of the big dog? Duke. Eric Stone Street. I think that's the guy from oh, Modern, Modern Family. Oh, Modern Family, right? yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's who it was. Yeah. Oh, mystery solved. My, I have two more recommendations. Oh, First, no. we have Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were Rabbit. In commemoration of England's loss in the World Cup not long ago, I pick an all English recommendations. Uh, you know good English wit. Like I said, they make a movie that's good for kids, but also has some stuff for adults to keep you entertained. Yeah. It's not too, like, provocative, the adult jokes, but, you know, they're, you know, it's goofy enough. It'll go over the kids' heads, but the parents will get it, yeah. My last one. It is not new, but my God, is it English? (laughs) Watership Down. The Tale. Of bunnies trying to find a home of he was looking for a home. He was looking for a home. In case anyone was wondering, that sound bite is from Hootie Ledbetter's interview with Woody Guthrie in 1942. He would look at the song is called The Bull Weevil. I was like, I think it was Hootie and the Bullfish when he said Hootie. <laughs> You fucking degenerate. Do you know how many, how much music, modern music has been influenced by Hootie and the Bullfish? I know. Ledbetter? Oh God, so many people love Hootie. Hootie Ledbetter. <laughs> Do you know Kurt Cobain got offered, or offered, some guy, his, Hootie Ledbetter's estate offered him his guitar for like 400 grand or something. Really? 
If no, if anybody out there is in, interested in blues, the origins of blues, origins of folk, origins of rock, origins of just contemporary music, check out Hootie Ledbetter. I may be wrong in this. I heard this somewhere, but he was in prison, had a death sentence, was pardoned because the governor loved his music so much. But back to Watership Down. It's, you know, I'm again, I'm sure I've recommended it and talked about it many times before, but it's a... Uh, Maybe even the last episode. I know I did in the last <laughs> episode, but I just scratched the surface. Oh, it's, it's your Paddington. It's a film about... <laughs> you gotta watch it. If you think it's like Paddington, watch it I know, sometime. Paddington's I'll so let you... Better. I got the criterion. I'll let you borrow it sometime. <laughs> Watership Down, it's just like... It's not a kid's... It is a kid's movie, but 11... I'd say 9, 10, 11, 12. There's some violence some death some sort of things where it's yeah, like a real little kid they would have trouble processing it they'd yeah. be freaking out but it's good for kids nine and up to right. be scared once in a while to think about death because they're in this life man you know you gotta process this stuff yeah. start early absolutely watership down it's just this group of bunnies breaks off from their um what do they call a gang of bunnies? Do you know? I mean, a holler? Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, they break off and they go looking for a new home. And that's it. Yeah. It's got a one of the it's got a huge dynamite cast. I'm just gonna look that up real quick and then we'll get out, okay? And then we'll we'll figure we'll figure out what's going out, okay? Water ship down. So uh, what movies are you interested in seeing these days there? Bud? <laughs> Um, well, uh, uh, it's not much, not, not much, I'm pretty depressed right now. Skyscraper. Yeah, yeah, I'll be seeing Skyscraper. I will not. I you will. all know my feelings on Dwayne, the rock <laughs> judge. Like, what's, in the comments, what's his appeal? What do you guys find appealing about him? That baby oil. Jesus. <laughs> John Hurt. No. Uh, Denholm Rest Elliott. In peace. John Hurt's dead, he recently died, huh? Pancreatic cancer. It sucks. A lot of English people. I thought there was more that I would know, and more people would know. But so far, what John Hurt <laughs> and Denholm Elliott. Do you know any of these oh, people? Denholm Elliott. Boy, that takes me back. He was in uh, Star. He was in <laughs> Denholm Elliott was in is Indiana that Jones. Is in there? Is that... No, no, that's Ralph. Or... He was in Indiana Jones. Okay, I don't know. Well, he... None of them He was Brody. Yeah. Brody. Yeah. Indiana Jones. Jeez. It's not taking me back. Man. All right. We want to start. You ever see Trading Places? Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Do you remember the butler? No. Okay. I don't uh, remember Jamie Lee Curtis's tits. That's all. Oh, yeah. I remember those, too. <laughs> God damn. She was a little... She was a firecracker when she was oh, young. She was. She was. And now she's worried about your prostate with her yogurt commercials. Well, you know, people don't think about this, but you really need some probiotics if you're not yeah, having a biotic-rich diet. You know what the yogurt is that she's... It's like... Beneath. Activa. Activa. Activa, yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And she now really she wants a, you to shit right. <laughs> she also wants her brother to leave her alone. Yeah. Halloween. The reaffirmation coming soon. Um we gonna pitch a wang wang doodle. <laughs>